Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In my previous video, I had a quick look at DeepSeek R1 and I installed it locally with Olama. Now, I wasn't really happy with the, well, to me, Chinese bias and even censorship. So I started thinking like, is there a way around it? And then I remembered I did a video uh, for Talk Like a Pirate Day and that it is possible to customize your prompt. So here is the documentation from Olama. And customizing your prompt uh, is really not that hard. You have to specify uh, the model file, uh, the temperature for creativity and specify let's just say a person or a character and well i can show you what i did so i have deepseek r1 70 billion parameter file installed uh, i just kept the temperature to one and i chose athena a goddess of wisdom and war because the default assistant, um, when I asked it about Chanaman Square, it evaded the question and said it only wanted to give um, harmless responses. So that's why I picked Athena, because as a goddess of war, um, I would say she is used to violent situations. So, this is the command uh, to create a custom prompt. And I already installed DeepSeek R1, so I skipped that step for now, but it's really not that hard to do that. And I started the custom prompt Athena. So here you see that I just said hi, and then it yeah, starts to get accustomed to the new role. And this time when I asked what happened in Chanaman Square in 1989, you can see the thought process and we actually get an answer. So, yeah, with a custom prompt, there is a way around the Chinese bias and censorship. So, also in my previous video, I was complaining that, in my opinion, the answer to the question, is Taiwan a sovereign country, that it only had the Chinese point of view. So here you can see the thought process about that question and the answer that we get is that this time we actually do get to see that some may argue that Taiwan functions as a sovereign entity. So yeah, I think um, by picking a different assistant that you can improve the quality of the answers and well perhaps some people would say that this answer is also biased so but by playing around and picking different people or characters um, you do see that you can get different kinds of answers and yeah, perhaps you can also say different kind of bias. So, well, for me, um, I don't think I'm going to continue with DeepSeek um, because let's just say on the execution side, so let's just say on the client side, if you have it locally installed, 
the performance is not really different from let's just say llama and perhaps it is um, faster to train but yeah that's not something uh, yeah that's something that is done by the organizations themselves and yeah well I haven't uh, gone into trying to train my own large language model so uh, because unfortunately I don't have the budget to buy uh, expensive NVIDIA graphics cards or perhaps uh, a cluster of very fast MPUs but uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for the future so just to round it off um, yeah I think this trick with a custom prompt uh, that will of course also work with other large language models but to me DeepSeek the default assistant um, I would say the bias was but at least to me uh, on an annoying level and we even hit censorship so this is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.